So one of the things that's really useful about this uh, island is that it's uplifting slowly, which means that the reef terraces of the past, the last two million years, are exposed along the coast. We can see them all around the entire island. Those reef terraces record what life was like in these reefs 125,000 years ago, 220,000 years ago, and so on in the past, when sea level was around about the same as it is today. What we're going to do now is we're going to head back to one of the uh, uh, most recent of those reef terraces to see if we can find suitable samples that are similar to the samples that we're collecting on the reefs at the moment. Yeah. Let's have a go. All right. All right. Shall I, shall I start hacking? Yeah, let me get some bags. Okay. We first drove to a place called the Santa Barbara Plantation um, and were greeted by the guard and was told that it was a private uh, location so that we could not enter there. And we then proceeded to drive around to a couple other areas in the region, many of which were private, but we finally found one that we actually could access um, the Pleistocene Reef. And so we were able to collect two bulk samples, which is pretty great. And each of these is composed of little kind of chunks of this limestone and Pleistocene um, reef. And there were some really nicely preserved corals um, and mollusks. Um, and this particular site that we went to was much more sheltered, um, kind of lagoonal, depositional environment. Um, so it's pretty neat to see this preservation and hopefully there will be denticles here. 